Some people don't realize that uh, when you look at your dinner plate, uh, one out of every three bites of food um, is reliant on a pollinator to be able to get there. So when, when we start losing not only the butterflies and the monarchs, but then when we start you know, losing all of our pollinators, then all of a sudden we're gonna have a serious problem with food supply. My name is Dan Gunther, and I am the Milkweeds for Monarchs Community Liaison for the City of St. Louis. So Milkweeds for Monarchs was initially thought up by Katherine Werner, who's the uh, Director of Sustainability for the City of St. Louis. And on Earth Day of 2014, uh, Mayor Slay officially launched the Milkweeds for Monarchs, the St. Louis Butterfly Project. He launched this project as a uh, relatively easy, um, cost-effective, um, and uh, a simple way to be able to connect uh, residents within the city of St. Louis with the natural environment. We are using the monarch butterfly, which is uh, something that most people have some connection to throughout their lives. So they're an iconic figure that uh, we are able to use to then teach people about the importance of native habitat and the importance of increasing awareness of the pollinators. So across the nation, we have an issue right now from loss of habitat and increased use of certain chemicals, um, we have a problem with pollinators. So the city of St. Louis uh, has created an award-winning sustainability plan. This sustainability plan uh, tries to balance out uh, what we call the triple bottom line, which is um, economic, environmental, and social aspects. So we try to make those three pieces uh, work together to uh, create sustainability. Most people with the monarchs, they think automatically of the environmental benefits. So not only are we uh, increasing the habitat for the monarchs, um, we're increasing the uh, biodiversity within the city. The economic benefits that we see are uh, increases in um, seed supply, increases in landscape and other uh, green um, industries. And then it has also proven that uh, how close your property is to public parks or public green spaces increases property value. Students have increased um, uh, productivity and they have increased test scores by having uh, green spaces and nature around them. And then it opens dialogue amongst neighbors um, and makes them more civically involved. Those would be the three aspects of the triple bottom line sustainability. So there's many ways that a citizen can take part. Uh, most importantly, we ask that everyone either create a garden in their personal home or uh, work with a neighborhood organization or your church or school to be able to create a public green space. Um, there's many vacant lots throughout the city that working with uh, your aldermen and the correct city resources that uh, uh, people are able to adopt vacant lots and create green space. The most important criteria is that uh, each garden has to have milkweed. Um, milkweed is the one plant that the monarch butterfly lays its eggs on, and then it is also the only plant that the monarch caterpillar will eat. So the most important factor is that uh, each garden has milkweed in it. The city of St. Louis created the first 50 uh, gardens through different departments and staff. From those 50 gardens, then the mayor challenged the residents of the city of St. Louis to create their own monarch garden, either in their personal uh, homes or in their uh, neighborhood and community green space. We hope that uh, people are able to learn about the uh, social and economic and environmental aspects of creating green space in their communities. And we hope to eventually be a national model for urban ecology throughout the nation.